What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a few word problems. So these are the three examples we're going to go through and let's get started. Okay, for this first question here, we have the side of a square is 10 centimeters longer than the side of an equilateral triangle. We're told that the perimeter of the square is three times larger than the perimeter of the triangle. But the actual question is, we need to be able to find the length of each side of the triangle. So the first thing we could do is model the first sentence with a drawing. So we have a square and an equilateral triangle, which means that all the sides are the same. So what we're told is that the side of the square is 10 centimeters longer than the side of the equilateral triangle. So what we could do is name each of these sides x, since all three sides are the same. And if the side of the square is 10 centimeters longer, we'll call all of these x plus 10. All right, so all four sides of the square can be modeled with x plus 10. The next piece of information we have to be able to make use of here is we're told that the perimeter of the square is three times the perimeter of the triangle. And just know in math, the word is means equals. So if we set this up with an expression. The perimeter of the square, we'll call p with the subscript s, is means equals three times the perimeter of the triangle. So what we need to be able to do here is come up with an expression for each of these. Well, the perimeter of the square, we'll write this in a different color, the perimeter of the square, I would just add up x plus 10 four times. So we have x plus 10 plus itself four times, or I could just multiply four times x plus 10. And for the perimeter of the triangle, we could add x to itself three times or just multiply one side by three. So these two now represent an expression for each of the perimeters. So then the perimeter of the square is four times x plus 10, and this is equal to three times the perimeter of the triangle is three x. So then all we have to do to get to our answer is solve this equation. So on the left side we distribute, we get four x plus 40 is equal to, on the right side, we have 9x. So then we're going to subtract 4x on both sides. And the resulting equation, we have 40 equals 5x. So then divide both sides by 5, and we're told that x is equal to 8. The first thing we could throw in here is the units, that this is going to correspond to 8 centimeters. So now we could throw in our labels and the question was asking us to find the length of each side of the triangle but each side is x units long so x equals 8 centimeters is in fact our answer but to check our solution we should plug everything back into the question and you know think about if x is equal to 8 then each of these sides of the square is 18 centimeters so remember x is 8 centimeters. So if we use that information, then the perimeter of the square is equal to 18 centimeters times 4, which gives you 72 centimeters. And the perimeter of the triangle, we could do 8 centimeters times 3, or just add it to itself 3 times, and we get 24 centimeters. So then think about the second sentence. The perimeter of the square is three times the perimeter of the triangle. If we do 24 centimeters times three, that gives you exactly 72 centimeters, which shows that the perimeter of the square is three times larger than the perimeter of the triangle. Okay, for this next question here, we have the length of each side of a hexagon now is four meters less than the length of each side of a square. We're told that the perimeter of the hexagon is equal to the perimeter of the square and the question here is asking us to find the length of a side of the hexagon and the length of a side of the square. So we basically just have to know how, what is the side length for each of these shapes. And if we draw this out first, a hexagon has six sides. So here's our six-sided figure, and a square has four sides. And 
we could go ahead and label this, we're told that the length of each side of the hexagon is 4 meters less than the side of a square. So if all the sides of the square are x, then each side of the hexagon is x minus 4. So there's six sides, so all around it's x minus 4. And now, once again, we're told, remember, is equal to, we just put our equal sign, but the perimeter of the hexagon is equal to the perimeter of the square. So then we need to just come up with the formula for the perimeter of the hexagon. And the perimeter of the hexagon, there's six sides and they're all equal in length. So if each side is x minus 4, then the entire perimeter would be 6 times x minus 4. And the perimeter of the square is 4x. So in this case, the perimeters are exactly equal. So we're just going to set 6 times parentheses x minus 4 equal to 4x. So we work this out here. We have 6x minus 24 is equal to 4x. And now we just go through the algebra. We're going to subtract 4x on both sides. We could add 24 to both sides. And now a few terms cancel, and we're left with 2x equals 24. So divide both sides by 2. And now you get x is equal to 12. And since we're dealing with meters, we're just going to go ahead and write meters in here. And think about what we just found. We just found the length of the side of the square. So the length of the side of the square is 12 meters. So this is for the square. And for the hexagon, remember each side of the hexagon was x minus 4. So that means that there are 12 meters minus 4 meters. So each side is 8 meters long. So this is for the hexagon. And if we want to check our answer here, we'll just throw the numbers back in. The perimeter of the hexagon is equal to 6 times 8 meters because there are 6 sides and they're all 8 meters long. That gives you 48 meters. And for the square, each side is 12 meters long and there's 4 sides. So when we multiply this out, we also get 48 meters. So this answer does in fact check out. Okay, now here we're told that the perimeter of a rectangular parking lot is 146 meters. And we want to find the dimensions of the lot. So that's the actual question. Find the dimensions of the lot. So find the length and the width. If the length is 7 meters less than 4 times the width. Alright, so these questions can be a little bit tricky. But just break this down really carefully. So for one, we have some rectangle here. The length we'll call L with W. And we're told, and remember this means equals, is means equals. So the length is 7 meters less than 4 times the width. Well, 4 times the width is 4W. And 7 less than that gives you minus 7. Be careful not to say 7 minus 4w, because when we say 7 meters less than this amount, the minus 7 comes after. So just make sure that you subtract, but you have to make sure that you switch the order. So we're subtracting, but we have to switch the order. So then now let's think about what is the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. Well, it's 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, because opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Okay, and just know these are four right angles. We don't need to know about the right angles for this question, but the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is here. Well, we have to think about what we do know here. What we know is that the perimeter of the rectangle, we're told, is 146 meters. So we can make a substitution here for this term, and we could also make a substitution for the length. So we'll do that in the next line. So what we have is the perimeter is 146. We'll write the units at the end. 2 times L plus 2W. But think about what we just said a moment ago. L equals 4W minus 7. So then all we're going to do here is just distribute and solve. We've got 146 equals now 8W minus 14 plus 2W. 
So we could add 14 to both sides. These terms cancel. And now on the left, we have 160 is equal to 8w plus 2w. Those are like terms, so just combine them to 10w. And now we could divide both sides by 10. And we'll have w is equal to 16. And we'll write the units in. Now it's 16 meters. But if you stop here, you're most likely to lose a point or two, depending on how much this would be worth on a test, because the full question was to find the dimensions of the lot. So not only do you need to know the width, you also need to know what is the length. So the length you just plug back in is 4 times w, which is 16, minus 7. And remember, the units here, this is all meters. So if we work this out, 4 times 16 is going to give you 64. So we have 64 minus 7. And we're dealing with meters here. So if we work that subtraction out, the length is 57 meters. OK, but if we want to be 100% sure that we did this right, the way we could check our answer is to plug these values back into the rectangle and make sure the perimeter of 146 checks out. OK, so the check will be the last thing that we do. So the perimeter, we should get 146. So the perimeter equals 2 times 16 plus 2 times 57. And remember, this is all in terms of meters. So when we work this out, we've got 32 plus 114. And this is meters. And if we do the addition here, this does in fact add up to 146 meters. So these values do check out. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video. If you found this to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.